Hello guys, uh, me again. Uh, today I wanted to talk about uh, communicating in English, like how to communicate over here. Uh, I just wanted to spend a whole video on this because uh, so many times, like now it's been uh, what, almost uh, almost two months already, like a month and a half. Whoa, okay, I didn't realize that. Realize that. Almost two months now that we're here and uh, I kind of, um, I was walking by to go to some restaurant and we were at, uh, again uh, asking the question, what we will eat today? Uh, like Because we didn't find any convenience stores yesterday or whatever. So it was like, okay, let's just walk and I hope there will be a restaurant. And they're always our. <laughs> so yeah, we're just walking and I was scanning the horizon and uh, uh, I was looking I realized that I did not understand anything around me because everything here is uh, written in Thai. Uh, but I kind of forgot that I don't understand that. Right? Like, there's a lot of words and everything like instruction, but I don't register that. And when I go like to somebody, I know she won't understand me. But I go anyway, and then I just try to get myself uh, understand, you know. At first I was just like, the, the very first week I was there actually, when I, I was scared to talk to people. I'm not really a people guy first, uh, but second, I was like, I'm not scared. But you know, how will I communicate with this person? I don't know his language, he doesn't know mine, and we don't have the same custom at all. Maybe pointing is bad here. I don't know, maybe if I point like, where do I go there? Maybe for them I just go like, go fuck those guys. I don't know, you know, so that kind of scared me. Actually, I think that pointing here is very bad. You have to point with the entire end. I think. I mean, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get on that. Anyway, the point is, uh... Uh, yeah, like how to communicate on this place, and I just like had a couple of anecdotes on how to do it because most of the time, uh, the only thing that you end up doing is just mining, and that's very fun. Okay, <laughs> it's the kind of stuff that you do like on Christmas with your parents. It's like, hey, let's have like a game of, uh, but it, it looks like a board game, right? So if some of you are very good at miming, that was a, that will be a good place uh, <laughs> to get uh, effective. Anyway, uh, like at one point, I want to go to a metro, metro, metro. I don't know. It's called MRT here, so mass, mass uh, road, railway, transportation, whatever, metro. So I wanted to go there, and I went. We didn't know where it was, and it was like an old lady uh, selling stuff across the street. And I was like, okay, I want to try it with her, you know. So I was like, hey, I'm looking for MRT, and the girl was like, ah, and I'm like looking for MRT Metro, like ah. So I take my phone and I write it down on my phone. It's like MRT Metro, and it was like ah. I was like, how can I mime a Metro? So I ended up doing this with my hand. Go like. Metro! Doo -doo 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 -doo. So she started laughing at first and then she was like, oh yeah, 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 over there. She pointed me some direction. But I really love how I did it up. Like, Metro! Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> like, I don't know, I find that super funny. Just like making some kids sounds and everything to try to communicate. And uh, yeah, but like, most of the time they start laughing and just like having a good time and, and then they want to help you. Um, but yeah. It's very cool. And having kids do uh, help a lot. Uh, like, you, you just go around with your kids and everybody's like, Oh, look, it's so cute. Oh. By the way, my kids are rock stars here. Really. Like, literally. I We stopped counting the number of times that people stops us on the street to take pictures of the kid. And I'm not talking like, oh yeah, pedophile. That really sounds like pedophile. But no, I'm talking like families. Like, dad, mom, and kids stops us and say, Oh, can we have kids, like, fun of it together? And then, like, they take pictures, like, with the kids and with them, you know, them and the kids. It's like, oh, this is so cute. Because it's they look super exotic, especially my little boy. Little boy is uh, very cute, very small. He has blue eyes, and that's like rare as shit. He is here, <laughs> so people jump on on them and just want to take picture, you know. So now my older daughter, she's like, yeah, super rock star. Like, yeah, I'm making peace signs and everything. Uh, the other ones a little bit less. So now we're just like, well, ask them, you know, ask them. 
you know, I'm fine with that, but ask them first. Anyway, so <laughs> that was a little parenthesis. Like, they are rock stars over here. Uh, but yeah, that helps, you know. After that, you can say, like, hey, where do I go over there? What's that? You know, what is cool here? Whatever. So yeah, I just, I don't know where this episode is, is going, actually. Some rumblings about communication and uh, and everything. I took some notes, actually. And I, uh, so, oh yeah, so good anecdote. Uh, at one point, I was um, at uh, Taipei, and I was just trying to go at some place uh, to get a uh, equipment for my the convention in Taipei of the Ships and Beats. And um, I look on the internet and there was a place called Sogo in Taipei. Like, go over there, it's the best place to get electronics. Like, alright, cool, I'm gonna go there. So I arrive in Taipei, go in a taxi and say, and I say Sogo. And she doesn't understand. So then I take uh, my phone, write down Sogo, and I show him Sogo, Sogo. And he, star and he starts laughing. He's like, okay. And he's like, ah, he starts laughing and everything, ah, get out of my car, you know, he didn't say that, but like, get the fuck out, and still, still laughing, like, okay, what's wrong with that guy? So like, now like you're thinking, what can make him laugh when I say Sogo? What is like, is it, is it a porn place? Is it something that's... What can make him laugh in that situation, you know? So you start to gear up, and I had zero clue. I was like, okay, let's get, just go see around. I go to an information center. I ask him, so go. And she's like, oh yeah, it's just like right across the street. Good, I go across the street. There's nothing. Like, no so go around there. I ended up in buildings going to the 14th uh, elevator, the 14th um, uh, floor. Uh, and it was just like uh, clothes and stuff like that, you know. So women's clothes and everything. Like, okay, no electronics there. So and then like, why the guy first? The first guy laughed. The second doesn't it got me to a place where it doesn't exist. So then I was like in the middle of nowhere, and I don't understand anything. So I asked another guy. Finally, that guy started laughing again. I was like, okay, we're on something, but at least you can speak in English. And he said. That doesn't exist anymore for the past four years or something. It's like, ah, okay. So I've been around like a clown around the town just trying to find a place that doesn't exist. But why? Tell me why. It was on the internet first. Second, the information center girls tell me you should go there. It doesn't exist anymore. Go there. There you go. I did my job. I gave instruction to a tourist. It's like, what the fuck? You could have told me like it doesn't exist. Anyway, that was another little anecdote. Oh, and um, about communication again. Like most of the time in restaurant, when I check on my uh, uh, when I check my um, my photo, my pictures of the day on my iPhone, what I see most of the time is pictures like this, like pictures of food up the wall. The reason is uh, most of the time. When I don't, when I don't know how to uh, order, like the menu is in Thai or Chinese or whatever, we see some pictures, so we take pictures of the pictures and show them on my phone. I want that, and then they understand. So that's a way. That's another way to communicate here. And you put it like a big smile, and everything, and everything goes well. But yeah, I just wanted to to, uh, to talk about that. That was very uh, lots of ramblings. Anyway, I, I, I hope you liked this episode. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hand on that. See you next, guys. See you next time, guys. Bye.